Greetings, my friends. Today we have the Atari 2600 Tiny Arcade. Nine Atari games, including Pac-Man. The actual Atari VCS version. It's the smallest fully functioning desktop console game. Most people would say game console, I think, though. Wait a minute. Over here it says 10 games. Over here it says 9 games. Plus bonus game Pac-Man. Uh, I guess they had a hard time deciding if they really wanted to call that a game. Is this the only game console that is a choking hazard? Probably. Let's get inside. I have to admit that I cheated. I already opened this. This would be impossible for me to open directly on camera. It has destructive packaging. This is bad for collecting. You have to actually tear these off to get inside. As hard as it is to open, it's much harder to get it back inside of this simulated 70s living room. Previous to my making unboxing videos here on YouTube for the benefit of mankind, I used to be a professional unboxer and reboxer working for a now defunct electronic store that shall remain nameless. I'll give you a couple hints. It is four red letters long, starts with an F, ends with an S, has a R, a funny vowel, and an apostrophe. If you can guess that electronic store, let us know in the comments below. If you are correct, you'll win a prize. That prize will be a pat on the back, which you must administer yourself. Here we have a close-up of the console with a little red button. This is a little tiny miniature RF switch simulated. And here is some simulated wood grain 70s wonderful goodness. The controller is uh, clicky. Seems like it'll probably work okay. Uh, we'll have to see. Little bird button is clicky too. These switches look like they want to work, but they don't do anything. And here are the legs, and there's the on off switch. Deploy legs. Good job. The screen pivots to give you a favorable viewing angle. For scale, we have the tiny Atari television, the original Atari flashback console, a quarter piece of graham cracker, some Marvel Avengers 5 gum, the tiny Atari controller, the tiny Atari console, a Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry shortbread cookie, a vanilla Tootsie Roll, a mini Kit Kat, and a micro SD card, all situated above a 12 inch platter. How about some game footage? Asteroids. This is not the original Atari VCS version. 
it more closely resembles the arcade version. The arcade was vector graphics. And this is made to look like vector graphics. Ooh. In the arcade, this was all button controls. There was a rotate left, a rotate right, a thrust, a fire, and a hyperspace. On the joystick controller, up is thrust, left and right rotate, down is hyperspace, and the red button is fire. Breakouts, not breakout. Breakout was a paddle game. It controls relatively okay with the joystick. Fortunately, the ball is pretty slow. Otherwise, this will be pretty hard. Centipede. This is not the Atari 2600 version. It more closely resembles the arcade version. The arcade version used a trackball. This is a little easier than it seems like it will be. It's still pretty hard with a little screen and controller. Combat. Combat was one of the launch titles, I believe, for the Atari VCS. This game looks just like the original Atari version. The original version was a two-player game. This one has been modified to be a single-player game. I spent hours and hours playing this game. Millipede. This is Millipede, also not the 2600 game. Yeah, this one is really hard to play and I think it might be a little buggy. Millipede was always a lot harder, in my opinion, than the original Centipede. Missile Command. Missile Command was another trackball game in the arcade. It had three fire buttons controlling the individual fire bases. And this version of the game This fires, I think, from whichever base is closest to the cursor. Runs pretty fast, much faster than the Atari game. Still seems pretty playable. Atari without Pong. 
another launch title. It was a paddle game in the arcade and a paddle game on the original Atari. Moves pretty slow, which makes it easier to play, especially on this tiny screen. Tempest. This is definitely not the Atari 2600 version. It looks more like the arcade version, which was also uh, vector graphics, like the asteroids. Had a knob controller in the arcade. I don't remember if it had a knob or used the joystick Warlords. on the 2600. So Warlords, this was a four player paddle game on the Atari. This looks more like the arcade version than the Atari. It's a theme here. The tiny Atari doesn't really have a lot of games that look like the Atari. This one's very difficult with the joystick. I'm the one on the bottom left and I don't seem to be affecting the gameplay much with my attempts to control the shield. Pac-Man. Well, this looks like a recreation of the 2600 version. And nobody liked that. And it doesn't get any easier on this little thing. So that's two that emulate the 2600. This is the Atari 2600 version of Asteroids. A lot of people are under the mistaken impression that the Asteroids just stay in two columns at the side of the screen. You have to select the more difficult version of the game. The more difficult you get, the faster these Asteroids are running. This is the Atari version of Breakout. I'm playing it on the Atari Flashback 9 Gold, and it uses a joystick on this console, and it just doesn't work. This is the Atari version of Centipede, where you play, play as a block, and you shoot at the little centipede segments. It is basically the game. It just, you know, doesn't have the greatest graphics, but hey, what do you expect? And then, of course, we have the Atari Pac-Man. This is the same version of the game, basically, that is on the little tiny arcade. This was a disappointment to everybody. I still spent many hours playing this game. This is Missile Command. The 2600 version. It is a different game than the one that's on the tiny Atari. That's the same basic thing. A little slower moving. This is one of the better arcade ports for the Atari. And here's the Atari version of Warlords. This also plays with a joystick and a 
it's uh, it's really hard without the paddle. And here is Tempest. It plays better than the one on the tiny Atari. And it does look pretty bad though, doesn't it? I can't remember if this originally had a paddle on the Atari, but it plays with the joystick on the flashback. And Millipede, it's a slightly improved version of Centipede. It doesn't look like this runs quite right either. Well, I have to say, I'm pretty surprised. That thing worked a lot better than I thought it would. Most of the games are playable. The little controller, as small as it is, I find it somehow easier to use than the one that was on the 2004 Atari Flashback. Yeah, these monstrosities right here. Remember those? Yeah, not good. And while I would not recommend the original 2004 Atari Flashback, I do recommend this. And it's pretty inexpensive. I got it for only $20. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with my latest tiny video game console videos.